Section 43 of Library of the World's Best Literature, Ancient and Modern, Volume 2. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Library of the World's Best Literature, Ancient and Modern, Volume 2. Section 43. Selected Poems by Ernst Moritz Arndt. Sprung from the sturdy peasant stock of the North, to which patriotism is a chief virtue, Ernst Moritz Arndt first saw the light at Schoritz, island of Rügen, then a dependency of Sweden, December twenty ninth, 1769. His father, once a serf, had achieved a humble independence, and he destined his clever son for the ministry, the one vocation open to him which meant honour and advancement. The young man studied theology at Greifswald and Jena, but later turned his attention exclusively to history and literature. His early life is delightfully described in his stories and recollections of childhood. His youth was moulded by the influence of Goethe, Klopstock, Bürger, and Voss. After completing his university studies he travelled extensively in Austria, Hungary, and northern Italy. His account of these journeys, published in 1802, shows his keen observation of men and affairs. He began his long service to his country by his history of serfdom in Pomerania and Sweden, which contributed largely to the general abolition of the ancient abuse. He became professor of history in the University of Greifswald in 1806, and about that time began to publish the first series of The Spirit of the Times. These were stirring appeals to rouse the Germans against the oppressions of Napoleon. In consequence he was obliged to flee to Sweden. After three years he returned under an assumed name, and again took up his work at Greifswald. In 1812, after the occupation of Pomerania by the French, his fierce denunciations again forced him to flee, this time to Russia, the only refuge open to him. There he joined Baron von Stein, who eagerly made use of him in his schemes for the liberation of Germany. At this time his finest poems were written those kindling war-songs that appealed so strongly to German patriotism, when songs were sermons and sermons were songs. The most famous of these, What is the German's Fatherland, The Song of the Field Marshal, and The God Who Made Earth's Iron Horde, still live as national lyrics. Arndt was also constantly occupied in writing pamphlets of the most stirring nature, as their titles show. The Rhine, Germany's River, but never Germany's Boundary the soldier's catechism, and the militia and the general levy. After the disasters of the French in Russia, he returned to Germany, unceasingly devoted to his task of rousing the people. Though by birth a Swede, he had become at heart a Prussian, seeing in Prussia alone the possibility of German unity. In 1817 he married Schleiermacher's sister, and the following year was appointed professor of history in the newly established University of Bonn. Shortly afterwards suspended, on account of his liberal views, he was forced to spend twenty years in retirement. His leisure gave opportunity for literary work, however, and he availed himself of it by producing several historical treatises and his interesting Reminiscences of My Public Life. One of the first acts of Frederick William IV, after his accession, was to restore Arndt to the professorship at Bonn. He took a lively interest in the events of 1848, and belonged to the deputation that offered the imperial crown to the King of Prussia. He continued in the hope and the advocacy of German unity, though he did not live to see it realized. The ninetieth birthday of Father Arndt, as he was fondly called by his countrymen, was celebrated with general rejoicing throughout Germany. He died shortly afterward, on January ninth, 1860. Arndt's important as a poet is due to the stirring scenes of his earlier life and the political needs of Germany. He was no genius, he was not even a deep scholar. His only great work is his war songs and patriotic ballads. Germany honors his manly character and patriotic zeal in that stormy period of liberation which led through many apparent defeats to the united empire of today. The best German biographies are that of Schenkel, 1869, W. Bohr, 1882, and Langenberg, 1869. The latter, in 1878, edited Arndt's Letters to a Friend. J. R. Seeley's Life and Adventures of E. M. Arndt, 1879, is founded on the latter's reminiscences of my public life. 
What is the German's fatherland? What is the German's fatherland? Is it Prussia or the Swabian's land? Is it where the grape glows on the Rhine, where seagulls skim the Baltic's brine? Oh, no! More grand must be the German's fatherland. What is the German's fatherland? Bavaria or the Styrian's land? Is it where the master's cattle graze? Is it the mark where forges blaze? Oh, no! More grand must be the German's fatherland. What is the German's fatherland? Westphalia? Pomerania strand? Where the sand drifts along the shores, or where the Danube surges roar? Oh, no! More grand must be the German's fatherland. What is the German's fatherland? Now name for me that mighty land. Is it Switzerland or Tyrol's? Tell. The land and people please me well. Oh, no, more grand must be the German's fatherland. What is the German's fatherland? Now name for me that mighty land. Oh, Austria, surely it must be, so rich in fame and victory. Oh, no, more grand must be the German's fatherland. What is the German's fatherland? Tell me the name of that great land. Is it the land which princely hate tore from the emperor and the state? Oh, no, more grand must be the German's fatherland. What is the German's fatherland? Now name at last that mighty land, Where'er resounds the German tongue, Where'er its hymns to God are sung. That is the land, brave German, That thy fatherland. That is the German's fatherland, Where binds like oak the clasped hand, Where truth shines clearly from the eyes, And in the heart affection lies. Be this the land, brave German, This thy fatherland. That is the German's fatherland. Where scorn shall foreign triflers brand, Where all are foes whose deeds offend, Where every noble soul's a friend, Be this the land, all Germany shall be the land. All Germany that land shall be, Watch o'er it, God, and grant that we, With German hearts, in deed and thought, May love it truly as we ought. Be this the land, all Germany shall be the land. The Song of the Field Marshal What's the blast from the trumpets? Hussars to the fray. The field marshal rides in the rolling melee, so gay on his mettlesome war horse he goes, so fierce waves his glittering sword at his foes, and here are the Germans. Yukhirasasa! The Germans are joyful, they're shouting hurrah. Oh, see as he comes how his piercing eyes gleam! Oh, see how behind him his snowy locks stream! So fresh blooms his age like a well-ripened wine. He may well as the battlefield's autocrat shine. And here are the Germans. Yuchira sasa! The Germans are joyful. They're shouting hurrah. It was he, when his country in ruin was laid, who sternly to heaven uplifted his blade, and swore on the brand with a heart burning high, to show Frenchmen the trade that the Prussians could ply. And here are the Germans. Yuchira sasa! The Germans are joyful, they're shouting hurrah. That oath he has kept. When the battle cry rang, Hey, how the gray youth to the saddle up sprang. He made a sweep dance for the French in the room, And swept the land clean with a steel-ended broom. And here are the Germans, Yuchirisasa! The Germans are joyful, they're shouting hurrah. At Lützen in the meadow he kept up such a strife That many thousand Frenchmen there yielded up their life, That thousands ran headlong for very life's sake, And thousands are sleeping who never will wake. And here are the Germans, Juchherasasa! The Germans are joyful, they're shouting hurrah. On the water, at Katzbach, his oath was in trim, He taught in a moment the Frenchmen to swim. Farewell, Frenchmen, fly to the Baltic to save! You mob without breeches, catch whales for your grave. And here are the Germans, Juchherasasa! The Germans are joyful, they're shouting hurrah. At Wartburg on the Elbe, how he cleared him a path, Neither fortress nor town barred the French from his wrath. Like hares o'er the field they all scuttled away, While behind him the hero rang out his huzzah. And here are the Germans, Juchherasasa! The Germans are joyful, they're shouting hurrah. At Leipzig, O oh, glorious fight on the plain! French luck and French might strove against him in vain. There beaten and stiff lay the foe in their blood, And there dear old Blücher a field-marshal stood. And here are the Germans, Juchherasasa! The Germans are joyful, they're shouting hurrah. Then sound, blaring trumpets, Hussars charge once more! Ride, field-marshal, 
ride like the wind in the roar to the rhine over rhine in your triumph advance brave sword of our country right on into france and here are the germans Juchheresasa. the germans are joyful they're shouting hurrah patriotic song god who gave iron purpose ne'er that man should be a slave therefore the sabre sword and spear in his right hand he gave therefore he gave him fiery mood fierce speech and free-born breath that he might fearlessly the feud maintain through life and death therefore will we what god did say with honest truth maintain and ne'er a fellow creature slay a tyrant's pay to gain but he shall fall by stroke of brand who fights for sin and shame and not inherit german land with men of german name o germany bright fatherland o german love so true thou sacred land thou beauteous land we swear to thee anew outlawed each knave and coward shall the crow and raven feed but we will to the battle all revenge shall be our need flash forth flash forth whatever can to bright and flaming life now all ye germans man for man forth to the holy strife your hands lift upward to the sky your heart shall upward soar and man for man let each one cry our slavery is o'er let sound let sound whatever can trumpet and fife and drum this day our sabres man for man to stain with blood we come with hangman's and with frenchman's blood o glorious day of ire that to all germans soundeth good day of our great desire let wave let wave whatever can standard and banner wave here will we purpose man for man to grace a hero's grave advance ye brave ranks heartily your banners wave on high will gain us freedom's victory or freedom's death will die end of section forty three